Ready? Good morning everybody! My name is Sydney and uh, welcome to Learning Station for today. Our science project for today is make a cloud form in a jar. Okay, so this is an interesting one, science uh, experiment. And for everybody, this is an interesting uh, experiment. Have you ever wondered how clouds are made? This super fun and simple experiment will help teach you about the physical changes and reactions that happens as the cloud form within the atmosphere. So this is just a microscope and what's happening in the atmosphere. So we'll put it in a science experiment. They will be amazed as you see your own cloud begin to take form while you learn new things about the weather vocabulary. In addition to creating your own cloud, you can also use this chart to explore different types of clouds and where they form in the sky. Okay, so I just like to note because this experiment requires boiling water, adult supervision is required for those minors. Okay, so let us start our science experiment for today. So, these are the ingredients to make our science uh, experiment. So first, we have the glass jar with the lid. You need the lid because uh, it's gonna contain the hot and cold air, okay? So that there's gonna be a cloud that will form inside the jar. And then second would be one cup of hot boiling water. So just one cup. And then the next one would be an aerosol spray or a hairspray and the fourth one would be our food coloring you need the color blue and lastly you need three to five ice cubes okay so that's the materials you need for the to make a cloud form in a jar so what do we need to do okay so what are the instructions or step by step so first you need to have boiling water so what we did was we preheated or we boiled the water so to save time and then you pour so one cup of water in a Pyrex container. Okay, so that's one cup. So the next thing you do is to get the blue food coloring and then try to just put one drop of food coloring inside the cup of boiling water. And then the next thing you should do is tie to clear the food coloring to mix it with water. The blue water will represent the water and the, to make a distinction regarding the cloud too when it forms so you can see it clearly and afterwards what you try to do is open the jar and remove the lid and pour the water containing the food coloring so it's boiling water and then you try to close it then the next step would be is to get your air aerosol spray here and then open the lid make it fast try to open it fast in the spray okay Okay, then put it back. So afterwards, after it's done, you get the ice cube tray and try to put between three to five if it's gonna fit the lid or the top of the jar. So and then afterwards, you wait for a few minutes so that the clouds could form inside the jar. So now you can see the cloud is forming inside the jar because of the hot water and the ice, which is called air. How does this experiment work? Well, it, the explanation is that the clouds form when the water from the Earth's surface is seated and it evaporates. The physical change from liquid to gas and it rises into the atmosphere and then cools and condenses. The physical change from gas to liquid onto microscopic particles like dust, dirt, and ash in the air. In our experiment, as you can see, the warm water in the jar causes the air inside the jar to heat up. When this happens, some of the water evaporates into the air. This evaporation causes water vapor in the jar. Then the warm moist uh, vapor rose from the surface of the water to the top of the jar. Once it reaches the top of the jar, the warm moist air begins to cool down. This is because of the ice that was on the lid on the jar. The water vapor in the cooling air then condenses into the particles of hairspray forming a cloud inside the jar. If you observe the cloud carefully, you'll notice that it swirls around the jar. This swirling is caused by convection current of warm air rising and cold air sinking. This is called the convection current. Convection current is a current caused by the rising and sinking of a heated and cooling fluid. So as you can see here now, I'm just gonna open the jar. See, as you can see, a cloud goes out the jar. And that's how the 
our experiment right now and let's explain why a cloud form inside the jar. So I hope you learned something for today and our experiment today is a success. Okay, so I hope you can learn and try to apply it also. So, okay, that's our learning station for Tuesday. So I'll see you again next Tuesday and talk about a different science uh, experiment. So I'll see you and bye. Until next Tuesday, bye. This is Sydney and God bless you and take care. Have a nice day, everyone.